First lady, the beautiful Na Okako. Incoming second lady, Rachel Crowley is our minister, member of the Council of State, officials of the presidency, minister for transport, minister for the interior, Member of Parliament for Iowa Central, Minister for Roads and Highways, Member of Parliament for Bantama, Minister for Communications and Digitalization, Member of Parliament for the Greenland West, Deputy Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, Metropolitan Chief Executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly other MNDC members of the board of directors of the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, Kapila, Chief Executive Officer, Management and Staff of Kapila, Chief Executive Officer of China Railway Corporation Company, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to Ghana. Ghana's former ambassador to the People's Republic of China, the overlord of the Ghana state, the Ghana Mancha, Nina and other, and other traditional rulers, residents of Jamestown, fellow Ghanaians, Greater Accra Regional Chairman of the ruling MPP, the MPP Parliamentary Candidate for the Jim, other candidates, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I stand before you filled with great joy as we gather to commission the Jamestown Fishing Harbor project of considerable national importance. This moment is both a culmination of years of effort and the realization of a long-held dream that began several decades ago. Over the decades, promises were made, hopes were raised, and yet no substantial action was taken. But today, under the Akufuado government, we have moved beyond rhetoric to action. Jamestown finally gets the modern fishing harbor it has long deserved. For someone who was born in Swagaba, who grew up in Kaluwaku, this is a particularly happy occasion for me, as this entire area was the playground of my youth. This is where I grew up. And being able under my stewardship as President of the Republic to generate this important infrastructure for the benefit of the people of the nation is indeed a source of exceptional satisfaction for me. My government 
fully aware of the critical role our design of fishing plays out in our economy and in the livelihoods of many Ghanaians, made it a priority to transform the fishing industry. We took bold, decisive steps to improve conditions for our hardworking fishermen. Those who daily toil sustains community and feeds our nation. The safe launching and landing of canoes, the hygienic handling of fish, and the dignity of those engaged in this noble trade being at the heart of our policies. And it is these very policies that have brought us here today on this memorable occasion. I recall with pride the day in December 2018 when I came to Jamestown to cut the soil for this project. I made a solemn promise to you, the people of Jamestown, that under my leadership, this ball would not remain a drawing more dream, but would become a reality. We were told by the professional gay naysayers that it was a political gimmick which will not see the light of day. I followed through on that promise. In October 2020, I returned to inspect the progress. And today, here we stand together as witnesses to the fulfillment of that commitment. This part is a symbol of hope, proof of the resilience and determination of our people, and a concrete manifestation of what we can achieve when we work together for the common good. It will create jobs, empower domestic economy, and revitalize the lives of the fisher folk and traders of Jamestown. We will inject new energy into the heart of this community. And I have no doubt that its benefits will ripple across the nation. In May of last year, I inaugurated the state of the art Elmina Fishing Harbor. Another promise fulfilled. Despite the naysayers, those who doubted our resolve, we delivered. Just as Almina now thrives with increased fishing activity, so too will Jamestown become a hub of economic activity, growth, and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, projects like these are not mere monuments to progress. They are vital lifelines, means to socio-economic empowerment, avenues for job creation and stepping stones to improve livelihoods. The Kufuado government understands the power of infrastructure. We understand that agriculture and fishing are the backbone of our economy with the power to fuel industrialization, eradicate poverty, and elevate the lives of millions of Ghanaians. Today, some 2.6 million citizens rely on the fishery sector for their livelihood. In 2020 alone, this sector contributed some 263.2 million United States dollars to our nation's GDP. These numbers represent the hard work of men and women whose hands feed our nation. It's for them, for you, that we continue to invest in superior infrastructure, improve storage, and advanced handling practices to reduce post catch losses, improve fish catches, and ultimately reduce our independence, our dependence on important fish. During the construction of this project, so 500 direct jobs were created with the potential for many more as the port becomes fully operational. The 
modern onshore facilities provided here will enhance the quality of fish handling and storage. And I'm happy to list them. An administrative building, a 200 capacity fish market, market stalls, an ice making plant with a capacity of 60 tons per day, a coal store with a capacity of 200 tons, a repair workshop, a daycare center, and police and fire stations. These are not just buildings. There are investments in the future of this community. Take for instance the inclusion of daycare centers designed to allow our high working mothers to trade with peace of mind knowing their children are safe and cared for. This is governance with compassion. This is governance that empowers our women, strengthens our families, builds a stronger, more resilient Ghana. I extend my people's gratitude to the overlord of the Ghana state, the Ghana chair, Nime, Name, and the whole Jamestown community. Your faith in my government has been inflation, and I thank you for standing with us as we work to make this dream a reality. Nika's personal commitment to this project, along with his visits to monitor its progress, exemplifies true traditional leadership. And I congratulate you, Nika, on this. Finally, the government and the people of the Republic of Ghana extend our warm appreciation to His Excellency President Xi Jinping the government and the people of the, the People's Republic of China for the continued growth of strong relations between our two countries and for their great contribution to this significant infrastructural development. Indeed, I had the good fortune last week in Beijing to have the honor and opportunity to meet with President Xi and a fruitful bilateral meeting as part of the ninth FOCA summit. I must also commend Ghana's former ambassador to China, Ambassador Edward Watte, for the yeoman's job he did in helping to bring this project to fruition. To the board of Gahapoa, under the sagacious chairmanship of former High Commissioner Isaac Osei, the other directors and managers of the Ghana Parks and Harbors Authority, and to the Shares China Railway Corporation Company Engineering Bureau, I salute you for your excellent work. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a day of celebration. It is a day when we look to the future with confidence, knowing that we're building a Ghana that works for everyone. A Ghana of peace, progress, and prosperity. Together, let us continue to rise. And now, I invite the government chair and the ministers of state to join me as we commission this project for the good of James Town in Glacier the good of our crowd and for the good of our beloved nation. <coughs> and not in care, Jim. You are for me, you swallow back. You call it walk or who's your head in Jesus. You want to be a fan. Show you be a fan. You can be a fan.
Before I finish, I want to introduce the next member of parliament for Ododojo Dio. The candidate of the ruling new patriotic party for a May God bless the James Town Fishing Harbor and us all. And may God bless our hotel and garden and make us great and strong. I thank you for your attention. His Excellency, Madam Dankwa, at this wedding. Honorable Ministers, Nifite, if you have a hand. Nani, Niji, Wola, Cheme, into Magana National Kino Fisherman Council. What can Danish? Okay, she got you know. Fair, <laughs> Papa, <laughs> Yeah,